All right, hey guys, old blue cord back, and uh, gonna do a quick video about what's in my toolbox. I've done a couple of these before, and I thought hadn't done one in a while, and this one's kind of this is a pretty fun one. So, what do I got there? Is I've got what you call the monkey wrench. Now, the monkey wrench obviously is uh, you know we've all got them, and and it's a love hate thing because let's face it, uh, it's it's kind of a one size. It's the old one size fits all wrench, right? You got you got this end right here. And it's easy to adjust, obviously, but with just two jaws and then a very loose 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 fit, you're about guaranteed to strip something. So I don't have too many of them. Now they're handy, you know, you want to grab something quick, you don't know what size you're, you don't really know what size you're working on or whatever. Uh, they can be really handy, but uh, I generally don't keep too many around and I certainly don't use them too much because like I said, if you're going to be a real mechanic, uh, these things are better left to somebody else. Now this is a kind of an interesting wrench and this is what started my thought about this video is, let's get better into the light maybe is it's a Rubbermaid wrench, which is kind of weird because Rubbermaid, I've never heard of them actually making tools. So, and it's got kind of a squishy handle. And actually it's got the, you know, I always thought this was funny. It's got the graduated, let's see if this side maybe shows a little better. Yeah, it's got the graduated. So I guess you want to be super precise. You're like, oh, I want a half inch, I want to grab a half inch in there. And, you know, the mechanism on this isn't too bad. But a funny story about this is I actually worked at a company called Rubbermaid. And it's an odd story, but I was on what they would call Firewatch. And Firewatch was something that did... Uh, Firewatch is something you did where you would go and the, the plant would be closed, but they needed two or three guys there just in case there was a fire or something. So it always ended up on holidays... Or something goofy like that and I always sent, ended up pulling them now you did get paid double time and there wasn't any production so as a maintenance person like myself we really didn't do anything we do some PMs and then we goof around and we were just driving around riding around one night and we saw this box and some stuff and there's places in the plant I had never been to and it, I'd worked there for years there's a million square feet so you just didn't go to all the places in the plant all the time and so my buddy and I were just riding around and we found this cardboard box. I can't remember what it was near. And I was saw a bunch of tool, junky tools in it. And it was this Rubbermaid wrench. I'm like, hell, I'm taking that, man. And he's laughing. He's like, you hate monkey wrenches. So kind of a funny story. But I always kept that wrench. It's pretty wore out. You can see, like, even right there, it's been used a lot. Somebody put got their money out of it. And it's a pretty, it's a heavy wrench. It's pretty, you know, where this, this, Sears, this Sears brand wrench uh it's pretty cheap the the mechanism's flimsy i mean it's good for a quick i keep one in my wife's toolbox in case she needs something real quick and these are handy for like doing plumbing jobs and stuff where you know you just got to get on a pipe on two sides you're probably fine with that you know plumbing wise but on a real job you really want to stay away from these so the funny story other story is why these are called monkey wrenches is and I, I started off as a mechanic as a kid so i started off like 16 or 17 and i just changed tires and plugged tires patched tires and then as i got older and then I, once i got 18 i could go underneath the car legally or whatever and i would change oil and stuff and my boss was like don't ever want to use one of these to do an oil change monkey wrenches are for monkeys and he used to come up with these funny things you know when you're eight, 17 18 you're kind of ignoring them but I kind of I kind of got the idea that these were strippers anyway. You know, you would tune up your bicycle, you know, you tighten up the hub on your bicycle and strip the nuts and you get you figure out pretty quick you need the correct wrench for the correct bolt. So, anyway, that's it's a adjustable wrench, monkey wrench. Uh there's probably other couple other slang terms for them. I didn't, I didn't really look it up online, but I'm sure there's a bunch. And uh I just thought it was a funny thing. I only got these three. Like I said, I use this big one for plumbing. And then the Rubbermaid wrench is just posterity. <laughs> and uh, this one goes in the wife's. Yeah, it's pretty light. I think it's funny it says Forge, but it's actually kind of just printed Sears. 
uh, it's probably one of their cheaper, you know, made in China or something like that. But Crescent's made in USA, obviously. But uh, yeah, monkey wrenches only for monkeys. Just remember that. Uh, don't these will definitely strip the bolt out pretty quick. So if you're in a pinch, you know, they're kind of cool to have. But other than that, that's what uh, that's my story. So that's that's what we got for in my toolbox segment. And I'll have a bunch more like that too. I've got a bunch of little weird stories, but uh, yeah, it's just I don't know. That just struck me funny is that rubber made, and that's their logo. And they made they made it of all things. They made a monkey wrench. So. I guess I, I'd almost sometimes I want to like cut this off and see who actually made this wrench because it's neck down. But, uh, and this has been 20 years, so this is an old wrench, but I won't do that. But, all right, guys, I don't want to bore you too much with that, but that's what's in the toolbox this week. I'll, uh, I'll keep doing the videos. I appreciate y'all looking. Uh, kept that one short and sweet at about five, six minutes. Uh, old blue cord over and out. Thanks, guys.